a very good evening, Zimbabwe. Welcome to Studio 7's Women's Round Table this Thursday, August the 5th, 2021. I'm Marvelous Nsanga Nyahuye, broadcasting from my home in Washington, D.C. due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And I'm Sitani Gilem Nsanga here in Washington, D.C. as well. And today you will be looking at a number of issues, uh, starting with COVID-19, which is affecting almost uh, every aspect of uh, women's lives and other people. So that's what we'll be looking at and other projects are related to women. Yes, so we'll also have some guests that will actually come in and share with us some of the initiatives that they are doing during this COVID-19 pandemic. According to the Ministry of Health, as of August 4, yesterday, Zimbabwe has 113,526 confirmed COVID-19 cases uh, since March last year, including 82,994 recoveries and 3,711 deaths. And uh, to date, a total of 1,740,000 598 people have been vaccinated so far under the vaccination program called a program B. Yes, and the Minister of Health is saying that uh, the cases um, are going, although they are going up, they are still high because uh, we see that just uh, yesterday alone, uh, there was uh, uh, the, the Minister of Health uh, recorded 1,090 one new cases and 35 deaths, which is still a lot. And uh, some cases which are some towns and regions that are still affected, we see that uh, leading uh, these uh, new cases is uh, Mashonaland East and uh, other provinces follow. And the Minister of Health says um, the government is making uh, many uh, quite a number of efforts to fight this uh, uh, pandemic through acquiring vaccination. We've seen uh, vaccines coming in into the country. Mm, there are millions, meaning that uh, many people get vaccinated. We also saw many centers being opened and uh, more help coming in to vaccinate people who are saying they spend many, most of their times in these queues, uh, including women who are saying that when they are in these lines, they end up not doing most of their duties or looking after, you know, and you know that most of them are informal traders, so they get affected. But we saw the government saying that it's increasing the staff and recently the Zimbabwe Defense Forces also uh, joined other health workers in Bulawayo to vaccinate the masses. So we see that uh, that's the effort the government is saying is making uh, to combat this problem and also advising people to follow the COVID regulations. Uh, yes, Star, we've also seen that, you know, a lot of organizations have started up initiatives uh, to try and cancel people uh, during this COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, there is uh, an organization that is running what they call uh, friendship benches in Zimbabwe, uh, where people actually go for counseling uh, and get to talk about their problems and uh, also get to hear advice on what to do during this COVID-19. Let's take a listen uh, to a report that was done by Columbus Mavunga in Harare. French Bench started in 2006 to provide counseling to those stressed or depressed by the political and economic situation in Zimbabwe. The organization now has branches at most clinics and hospitals in Harare and is the only large mental health therapy service operating in the country. The service is run by volunteers who say they do not want to see people stressed. According to Chengetanya Mkapa, country's coordinator for French Bench, many people have stopped meeting others in person due to COVID-19. We continue to provide um counseling uh, to, to people who are affected, who are infected by the COVID-19 pandemic. And again, we are saying that uh, we are not able to do that using our conventional face-to-face. -face. But what we have done as an organization is to migrate to an online platform. But some, such as Elizabeth Shibeka, still come to their offices. The 49-year-old says her father is battling with COVID-19. I have nothing to pay for his medical bills. 
I am unemployed. I have no means to raise funds even for his food. Those are some things stressing me. Hence, I came here to talk to these people. COVID-19 is there, and it's real, especially where we stay. 53-year-old Forget Gutuza is one of the counselors at French Bench. She says COVID-19 is dominating a counseling. COVID-19 has really spread its wings. It's all over. But people are not masking up. I do not know how awareness programs can be done. I wonder why people do not understand the situation we are in. My neighbor conducts church service nearly every day. Dr. Deborah Machando is the chief of mental health for the World Health Organization's office in Zimbabwe. She says COVID-19 has caused a lot of stress to people. Lately, we've been seeing a number of uh, psychological disorders, including panic attacks, uh, insomnia, depression, and also a surge in terms of um, family conflicts and violence. So there are a number of things that people can actually do to mitigate loss of income. She says they include understanding that the world is in strange times, cutting down on expectations and adjusting downwards on needs. That must be advice for stressed people like Chibeka to take note of as the cases of infections by COVID-19 continue to spike in Zimbabwe with the Delta variant on the rise. Columbus Mavunga for viewing News, Harare, Zimbabwe. We are hearing there a report about uh, some of the initiatives that are being done uh, by organizations in Zimbabwe. And we're actually going to have one of the coordinators of the project on our show tonight, Star. Uh, maybe before we go into the languages, let's just welcome uh, one of our guests, Ambassador uh, Dr. Arikana Chombori Kwan, if she's here. And then we go to our languages. Uh, Dr. Chombori, I, I think you can go ahead, Star. Yeah, is she coming? I, uh, yeah, she's not on the broadcast right now. I can see her, but I don't see her face. So you can go ahead and Okay. Okay. Um, what are you saying? Like, I'm trying to go to Baba Sandu with Puma. See, Tobumula. Oh, Patelane, the COVID 19. Let's see, in Hilo. Ah, is Tinta Vespasa. See, I'm a little bit. COVID 19. See, Tinta, because a young kid in Pilo Yavantu. I will am Dogati, Nikoma, 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 Covid Njaloge, loka kuchukuti iwa wanda wali tuwele yodele tukwane. Aba nyege seba sila, age asikanyo lage lako. Ama chumi ayis chia, nkulu nganezi nga machumi ayis chia, nkalo mbili, 82,944. Wajalula lelo nani ge, kuga ntiso kwa pupage, aba figa pose, nkulu ngane ezi ine, 3,711. Ugotu wage, ukulu mendi ge uti, aba ntu asewe chofi, wasewe mugele umchofo ge, owe, when I will like COVID 19, so I said Lula is sick it is so to and take a service of figure who's getting in billing of us away 1.7 million about a service like you again. Each exenny when I will like COVID 19, yes, Kati Upolo Mende City. We are Mugela immediately. I'm a vaccinations. I must win a man name. We are Yazikiti, Lazikiti, Uti Abandu, the Lachis, one little go blow. I saw once a one case a little. La maso cha awe Zimbabwe Defense Forces. Ase ngati sa wushaba abantu i chegise nile yowe mwabe lai COVID-19 wamanyi amalogi chi. We wungani mwaba. We siti mwasogu sonde la usogu le Zimbabwe Defense Forces alogu na nzamalu nge la maguto na bobayi nza imsebe nze mpagati yogu tutugisa mpagati. 
Since Catibac is all over the Benzo, when you would cheer Neo. Nako, unless it's Catibati, I know the Casselaho, Abachova, Avan, to Wednesday, would tea. The Mabe, the woman may take her with the one in the Covid nineteen. Your guess is a Missila Vasonicha, Avaninga, Avachi Neo, since a Vesua guesses, Columa la Volapa, marvelous. Um, Sisaba in the lake. Now, by Chango Vapinda, Mutuwa Chedu, Parish, not to look in the Miza, Nemo Faro. Nasi pachungwache duche madzi mai che women's round table. Chukutari sa isu nya ya yebe ndarechi lwereche COVID-19. Uye shetisonge tine wa nyari kani waka wanda wa chao ya panu wa shita uranesu. Pamsoro pe shiru ongwa a shavari na azu shavari kuita kuye za kurbisa denda hivi are COVID-19. Uye shetubatsira avo vari kushanda avo kada isa wana chiru emba na wana mkoti mu Zimbabwe. Panya ya ye kuchaga shikuwa ni siro shukuti wana chile mba wana wana mkoti wasa wani kweo wachipati kwa nebenda yuweche mwereche COVID-19. Parishu no bazilesho utano runoti ilo kufane zuro ewa na wakawani kwa iwo wabati kwa neche mwereche COVID-19 kukira muna mache at in Gorera Fura pane wano 100, eh, 113,526 wakawani kwa wachipati kwa nebenda yuweche COVID-19 kufane muna mache Gorera Fura Uye je, wano wanoshika 82,994, waka wani kwa iwo, wachikunda denda hivi. Asi, paka suwa ni kwa usha kare wanu, waka rasikiru wane upenyu, parishu ino wa mira wari pa 3,711. Chotari sa shakare, chirongwache urumende chekubaya nomba ze COVID-19. Parishu ino pane wanu 1.7 million nekuta ya uzira, wawani kwa iwo, wachikai wanomba ye COVID-19. Uye shetunona kuti urumende ya tanga iyo uh, kukwanisa kunge ichi wezi rashirongwa uh, shukuti wano wawane mkana wukubai wa e, nombai ye COVID-19. Shukuona kuti takao na masoja e, ilo shondo rino wachienda kune zimwe njimbo e, kwa kada ise kubula wayo wachibati rao kwa kubaya wano nombai zozi ze COVID-19. Saka tshange tine wanyari kani wakati wandei nasi wanengi wachita uranesu uh, pa msoro pejiro ongwa shavai nasho E, panya eyo yiye kurubisa denda re COVID-19. Asile gaiti tange a, na doktor uye jivare ambasada arikana chumbori a, kwa wachumi yao wachita ura nesupa msoro pe chikongwa chavai na choche kubatira wana chiremba na wana mkoti a, kuzimbabwe paneshu kwa nisiro ashwekuti iwa wani kwa iwa wasinga batire e, denda ire COVID-19. Welcome to the program uh, ambasada chumbori kwa Thank you very much uh, for having me. Thank you, Marvelous, for all the great work that you're doing. Uh, thank you, ladies from Zimbabwe and those who are here in the United States. Uh, my name is Arikana Chiombari Kwao, and I'm the founder and CEO of the African Diaspora Development Institute, an entity I created since leaving the African Union mission, and it is designed to be the bridge between the African diaspora around the world and our beloved continent of Africa. I've always felt very strongly that African problems deserve and demand African solutions. As Africans in the diaspora, we have everything that we need and everything it takes for us to build the Africa that we want. With the situation of the pandemic in Southern Africa, I also felt once again that some of us in the diaspora may not be fully aware of what is happening back home. So as such, we are on a program to promote and inform the masses in the diaspora what is going on back home, particularly in Southern Africa, as it pertains to COVID-19. Two weeks ago, we did a fundraiser for Zambia, and we are looking to be sending a container, 40-foot container with over $200,000 worth of uh, PPEs and other medical supplies. This coming Saturday, we are doing the same thing in collaboration with the Zimbabwean diaspora healthcare professionals, as well as other, other diaspora from all over uh, the world, not just Zimbabwe, not just Africa. Once again, we are calling on them to say, to whom much is given, much is expected. I truly believe that if we can adopt that spirit of saying we look inward for solving our own problems, 
we should be able to take care of ourselves. Yep. If I were to use an Let example. Let me just come in there. Uh, what exactly are you hoping to uh, use the funds that you raise this Saturday for? The funds we're going to raise this Saturday, we are looking at a minimum of 25,000. With 25,000, we should be able to get a container. We are working with an organization, a nonprofit organization here in the United States. Uh, we will be able to send to Zimbabwe a 40 foot container, which will have at a minimum $200,000 worth of PPEs and other medical supplies. It's a program that they've run for a long time. A lot of the supplies are all over the country and they're donated. And so we hope that we can raise more than 25,000. But for every $25,000 that we raise, we will be able to send a 40 foot container with over $200,000 worth of medical supplies. For now, we are focusing on PPEs, which will be going to the frontline workers who are the doctors, the nurses, the pharmacists, and other healthcare. Yes, and how are these uh, funds raised? What exactly will you be doing and who's invited? We are inviting all Zimbabweans and all African diaspora around the world and friends of Africa. Again, as ADDR, we are not discriminating and saying you're only Zimbabweans. No, we are saying African solutions belong to all of us. And by Africans, I mean all people of African descent. If you're black, you're African. And I'm saying issues, problems in Africa, problems in Southern Africa, problems in Zimbabwe, they are your problems. Own them and do something about it. As I was talking to Dr. Chireka last week, I reminded him, Dr. Chireka is one of our doctors who is heading the Zimbabwe Diaspora Healthcare uh, Alliance. He's based out of the United Kingdom. He started a platform on WhatsApp uh, based on COVID. That platform is now sitting on about 97,000 people. And I said, doctor, can you imagine if everybody could just give $1? We could send four, four 40 foot containers to Zimbabwe with just $1 from those people on that platform. That's how easy we could make a difference in Africa. But are our people committed to give up that $1? The $1 that you won't even miss. This is how easy it is for us to take care of African problems. If only we could unite and if only we could also adopt that spirit of giving. And that's what we are going to be putting in front of not only the Zimbabwean diaspora, but diaspora around the world and friends of Africa to say, we can take care of our own problems. Unity of purpose is what this moment is calling for. So we will be asking them to join the bandwagon and let's unite and provide African solutions to African people. Yes, and how do you, how do you, you, you raise something important there that um, you're looking at the whole of Africa and you have many Africans from different countries. Is this easy, is this policy easy to implement looking at maybe someone wants their country only to be solved? Is it easy to distribute even that today we're looking at this country and today this one and everyone gives accordingly or they want to give more to their country of origin? I think it's, you are finding that it's, it's natural to want to give more to their country of origin. Uh, but these are some baby steps that we need to take as a people. We need to own our problems. So we are cultivating that culture of giving, culture of understanding that the reason we are where we are today as black people, the reason we are the most disrespected race as a people, is because of the disunity among us. It is precisely that disunity that has allowed others to exploit us and continue to, uh, to exploit our beloved continent because of the disunity. That is the mindset that needs to change. So in, in small baby steps, we are doing our part to remind people as to why they must have a serious conversation with the image in the mirror. Because it is the image in the mirror and the conversation with that image that are going to begin the healing that we desire. What fails us, what prevents us from coming together and creating that meaningful unity is the damage, the mind game 
the disease of the legacy of slavery and the legacy of colonization. So we must tackle that as well. So as people are giving, they should not think of themselves as Zimbabweans. They should think of themselves as Africans. And as Africans, I'm talking of as black people around the world. If you're black, no matter where you were born, you are an African. We wanna cultivate that spirit. We wanna pick up a page out of the Jewish playbook. A Jew is a Jew, no matter where they are on earth. They look to each other first, to supporting each other first, to promoting Jewish businesses. We must also adopt that same spirit. So little by little, we will do that. But we are calling on black people, and of course, Friends of Africa to say, we need to promote that unity. It won't happen overnight, but that is- So you we... believe in a borderless uh, Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That is the only way we are going to survive as a people, as Africans, and as Black people around the world. Unity is the only thing that's keeping us from coming together. So our minds, we must understand we were intentionally put to sleep. We were in, intentionally brainwashed. So let's understand, let's accept that we are suffering from this disease that we must heal from. You don't go to the doctor to seek help unless you know that you're sick. So we need to appreciate and accept that this is a serious problem among us as black people. We don't believe in ourselves. We don't believe in each other. We're always looking outward for others to help us. Now, this moment is calling for us to help ourselves and we can. Just the example I gave you, the 97,000 people on Director Chireka's COVID platform, if they could just give up $1 each, we will raise 100,000 easily, and we can send over a million dollars worth of medical supplies so, to Zimbabwe. It is that way, are the, white African, are the white Africans also invited, or is strictly black? No, it's, it's oh. all Africans, all Africans. All Africans plus Friends of Africa. You don't even have to, to be black or to be African. There are lots of well-meaning people who are not Africans, who are not black. If you're a friend of Africa, absolutely. We're counting on you to join hands because we are here out in the diaspora. We are giving to non-Africans. We are giving to non-black people. I spent 25 years of my life taking care of white people in this country. So it's not about uh, the color of your skin. We are simply saying, if it comes to African issues, we need to be on the driver's seat. We need to spearhead and others can follow. Chinese issues, the Chinese lead the program. European issues, Europeans lead the program. Indian issues, Indians lead the program, and so forth. It's only in Africa that we wait for others from outside to come lead issues pertaining to our problems. We are saying we must be on the driver's seat for Africa's development, for solving Africa's problems. We would love to have our friends join us but we must take that driver's seat. It is our responsibility and ours alone. And any help that we can get, we appreciate it, but we must never ever give up the, the driver's seat. At this point, we gave up that driver's seat. We must- Have you it. ever weighed to the gender issue here or there's a bigger picture of just being an African um, than the gender issue now that are the women mostly impacted by what's happening in Africa? or are you just looking at everyone for now? We're looking at everyone right now because the people who are dying, for example, the frontline workers, they're female doctors, they're male doctors, they're male nurses, male, female nurses. We are looking at everyone. COVID is not discriminating. It's not saying you're a woman, you're gonna die more, more than the men. So at this point, when it comes to COVID, we're looking at everyone. Mm -hmm. And uh, getting back to the program that you have on uh, Saturday, you spoke about uh, Dr. Brighton uh, Chireka's platform on Facebook. I've been following them on the COVID-19. Uh, where can people actually tune into your program uh, if they want to donate? And uh, which hospitals are you targeting in Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe, we are targeting Parinyatwa to start with, if it's only one container. Why Parinyatwa is because they have the largest uh, COVID ward in the country. Um, and then we will expand to other hospitals depending on how much money we are able to, uh, to fundraise. Um, and, and so Zimbabwe for now is Parinyatwa, but we will expand to, to other hospitals as we as the funds are and where can people tune, tune into your program on Saturday? What was it? 
Yes, to tune in, you can go to our or you are ADDI.org, our ADDI.org, and you can go to the donation button, go down to COVID-19 Zimbabwe. Otherwise, to also join, there's a flyer which will give you a code and you can join it's via Zoom. Mm -hmm. I thank you very much there, Dr. Arikana Chomborikwan. We'll come back to you uh, so that we can give a chance to other of our guests to also come in and weigh in uh, on uh, what the what you've just discussed here. Uh, Star, if you can uh, come in and uh, let's go into the valley. But for now, I'll just summarize and show now uh, what Dr. Arikana Chomborikwan was saying. Dr. Arikana Chomborikwan Vanova Ivo Chilemba Uyeshe, Vari Ambassador Imo Munoma America, Vaimbo Shanda Ku African Union, Asipa Rijino, Vane Chiron Gwachavo Chavar Kuita, Cheku Bataniza, Vanova Kunika Zaka Siana Siana, Ekuti Vaunga Nizi Ivo Mari, Ekuti Vawani Kuva Chitenga Shikwani Siro, Cheku Shandisa Mushi Patara. Sakanem Swemu Govera, Vashangi Vai Nechi Mechirongwa, Chava Changi Vachita Padandem Tandi, Chavar Kuyeza Chiva, Batani Zemari, Yukutiva Tenge, Shikwani Siro, Jeku Shandiswa, Avati Wol Shitapi Wavana Chiremba, Navana Mukoti, the Ku Parirenya Twa Hospital to Zimbabwe, Asaka Parish in Ondochu, the Nyayatanga Trip Taurasi, Tineva Vanyarika Nishakari, Varipan Vashanga Vashaura Nesu, Pam Soro Peja, Varku Sangana Nashu, Pangua Ino, Ye Covid nineteen Esther. Yeah, okay, sing that tati or my young shiny chai tol and denial. Lapo gave us a seas or the inmoto every sea cover. Uh Lord Gote Langalo Ambassador, won't was the Arikana Chiombori Kwa, Yenage, Willin Changani so a Lula Amalung Elo Avantu Avashala, uh we Africa Vashala Wamanya Mazwe, African Diaspora Development Institute, West Tassel again and Shell of us co viola, no guti by Kukuzela uti wonke umuntu ovela e Afrika angeti se wonke amazwa bula uti ileli lizwe kumbi ni Zimbabwe yoto kumbi wui ni ai vasha ni ninges kulo manjwa tinga uhambisa umkomo e Zambia ulo ucha kumbi ama PPEs kanya uti ngoba iskati se COVID na kwe iko gabe stasi se lako na lo kulo uti bona baketa ni ngemsho uti mto vela guli pi ilizwe e Afrika njaluti. Back on this and especially as a parinato, Ugung and Ugunatisa Abani. Yeboge, Sassilon, Shonishawe too, or Wessibili, or Landelau Lam Sanje, was as Chogain, I would tea Mobani, Sia Wamgela, Wushelo, and Cosiazi, uh, Maplank. Mali, 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 Mali,
Yes, roughly how many are you in this group? And uh, we recently saw you um, in the state media where you helped a family that was bereaved. And previously you helped um, uh, the doctors at um, Bilo Hospital who, whose uh, quarters were cut down by fire. Can you explain how you went about those projects and uh, how you managed to get the money? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, All right, we, we are above 1,000. We are now at 1.2 ladies. And how we managed to support uh, the below doctors. We came together, like I said, that now our queens is a group of ladies that came together to support and help each other. So we came together and everyone in Blau Queens, every lady, every member contributed towards that. Same with the funeral. Uh, for the, the, the Uganda family. We came together and every lady in Royal Queens contributed. And uh, we had to buy grocery and uh, we took some of the money, we took it the, in, in cash. Yes, are all the ladies employed there and how do they get this money? And do you have other projects that uplift the women? It's been, it's been those who need employment or to start their own informal businesses. For now, we don't have any, any income to give the ladies, but the ladies, most of the ladies, they are um, self-employed. They are doing business on their own, and yes, some they are employed, but most of the ladies, uh, three quarters, I may say, they are not employed. They are doing business, they buy things and sell. So that's it.
kupa ama contributions is mali um, sa kupa limpasha aba ni babu ya limpasha aba ni babu ya limali so umba uti imali aba babu ya layo ilinye sata sa satinga ikurusari sa handi sa kuna nale wumbule nale simli sa wunza mpilo alright e, o, o mama ni mnao ya queens ala nini nati aba sevens na mandu ala sevensa ala ntu aba aba tena isu dobiti nisa aba aba kuteleyo ni ngacho na bantu aba kuteleyo o mama aba ngashali pals yewo ye bako na wanyi aba sevensa uke age aba nini bako na mabantu nje aba kichimayo le sevensa le tenisa la pala la pala Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, interesting their views are uh, marvelous from the Gazella Maplanka of Lawa Queens. Obele Sinege, who shall you want to be the Conapoet when this is a Penduga boy, the palaces we get Abani Abashon Chabe? Yes, I uh, thank you. There's a very interesting initiative. It's coming up with a lot of initiatives. Uh, especially uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And we have uh, one such woman who's actually joining us from Zimbabwe. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, if you can uh, join us and just introduce yourself and tell us about your initiative, uh, what's going on? Hi, uh, my name is Grace and I have an organization called Tando Health. And uh, basically just to introduce myself, um, Tando Health is a Zulu word meaning love, I'm sure you all know. And basically what we're doing is, our mission is to try to simplify the uh, healthcare arrangement across miles. So due to Tando Health, we, I, I, we realize that so many people who are diaspora are not able to care for their parents the way they would be. Mm -hmm. Usually people would visit maybe once or twice in a year to check on their parents and their health care. So what we do is we have a platform, which is tandohealth.com, and it's a scheduling plat platform that we've created where we have doctors and healthcare services. We also have pharmacies, we have labs, we even have nurse aides. So someone who is out there, who is in America, who is in UK, who is in South Africa, has a parent who is in Zimbabwe. When the parent gets sick and you need to care for them, but you're not able to come here. So you go online on our website, you choose a doctor or a service that you need for your parent. Maybe it's just a checkup. You want a GP, a general practitioner, to go and check up on your parents. So basically you pick the doctor, you pay for it, and within a few hours, the doctor will see the message and the doctor will either do a home visit or you will notify your relative to come to the doctor's rooms depending on what you have booked. So we have options for uh, bookings, which can be either to go and do a home visit or to go and do a, uh, for them to come to the rooms. We also even have options for the pharmacies. Mm -hmm. For example, the BP medication or the diabetic medication, which is needed regularly. So you can make it easy for them. Instead of sending money to, through Mkuru or World the Meat mm -hmm. to say this is the money for you to buy medication, it's COVID time. You don't want your parents to be uh, out there. We can do that for you. We just pay on our website. We get the medication either sent to the home or they just come and pick it up. And uh, how is your operation? We are looking like what you just mentioned, that this is COVID time. How are you operating as a group during this COVID time when it comes to doctor's visits? Because obviously people out there want to know, are their parents safe? How are you operating? So basically, since I said this is an online scheduling platform, most of the things is done online. You have paid for your parents, you have booked for a 10 a.m. appointment to the doctor's office. So your parent will just be taken to the doctor's rooms and at 10 o'clock that scheduled time, they just go through in and see the doctor. Or you have booked for them to say, okay, I want you to visit my parents at, at their house. Then the doctor will come at that exact time and the doctor will make sure they're well equipped to deal with COVID cases. It might even be a COVID. You have learned that your parents or your relative, someone you love, has got COVID-19 and is suffering at home. They're not able now to mix around because we're saying with COVID, don't try to uh, limit your movements once you know you have COVID-19. So now you need a doctor to go there. Instead of them taking a combi and 
infecting themselves or other people in the process. So you can pay for such um, uh, visits and the doctor will see that the, the, the patient will communicate with you what's needed and things can just be done using that scheduling platform uh, that we have created, which is tandohealth.com. Mombo tita na nguru rao, pamsoro pechiru nguwa chenyu cha mwina cho, emai uchitowa. Ah, ndicho uchitowa nguwa cha nduku tawa raneswa, chocho kuti, chocho kuti, vanu wanoro wa araka na kutu vanu wane, varekure nia mazao za wanoda, vanu guna kuzibatira, even vasipo panjimbo pachu. Vano but still was saying, can I even over the Quenica? Vano Fandra Kunjavaji Saka Vano Kunjavaji Kachanum either phone and number the Tinazo, Tilipopa Facebook, or Vano in the online on Tandohealth.com. Vaga in the online, Vacha one out the Vano in the Zippies of Arkuda. Can I ever don't go Tengam Shonga? Then Vano send a message, Edu, what to send a message or two, or to do Tengam Shonga. Na mewe wangu wari pakati ni pakati. Ma details wati no communicate. Kana vashida uti amaya wino one kwa irape. Then wano pika doktor wari kuda. And then wo, 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 wo one. Shimweji shamuri kubatila na shupangwa ino ye COVID-19. Pangwa ino ye COVID-19. Zilkunyanyo kuti healthcare ye amazao zavanoda yiri o well covered. I wara mbaye shenyu makabata tia zuka kwa muri regaiti mbotora mungu ya mnyari kani wedu Parishi no vari ku Zimbabwe a uh, Paris jino reka ito one kuti vano kwa nisa kubatika ili no kutukuwa bata pa whatsappu wani kutuwa orone jichiru ongu wacha wani kuita mkweza kubatila vani uh, vaye vanenga wachishu shikana uh, nefungu wa panguwa ino ye covid-19 tunuona kutiva jinji uh, panguwa ino yi wani kuwa ni kwa wani kugara wani vega uh, uye jie vani nge wasina vani waka wanda uh, kwa wani nge wari uh, saka tuta kundu wakwa wani hivo kuti shaka mira se uh, panyaya yeshu kusangana ne vani panguwa ino ye covid-19 Uye shichiru ngwa chavo che friendship uh, uh, bench Pawano tivano wano uya tambona video kwe kutanga kwe chiru ngwa uh, Apo wano wano uya wukwa nisa kunge wachigara apa benji iroro Wachikuru kura nuna zao Uye shi eva shita ura one wa nyarikani uh, Kutiva wane ribatziro uh, Kutiva nga wane say uh, Kutiva batilika nipanguwa ino ye COVID-19 Kutiva wana kutiva jinji Wari kuti iwo wake Rewari vega kunjimbo za kasi ya nasiana uh, Saka parijino Awasikuwa na mkana wakuti iwa wani kwe iwa wa shitaura uh, Nea manesha mwari Saka tiku uda kutitezi kubata uh, Mushare Jojina uh, Chipatorera Wika tinege tana wo Hello Hello magadizi Ay wati ripo mkata uro stare nyu Nestare organization ye nyu Mwa matu uzo osha mwuku ita ili pangu wa ino ye COVID-19 Alright Ini ndi naitwa Jojina Chapotorera Jino Sandira ino nzi Frenchy Bench Tiri muno Zimbabwe Frenchy Bench I organization ino batira Matambudziko Efungwa kana kutidambudziko Rekufungi sisa Pachirungu tinoti depression Tino tenda kuti Vanu wanengwa ni matambudziko Rekufungi sisa Vanu kwa nisa kubatiru Wakuburi kiza lekukuru kura Nema tinote anambu ya utano, kana kuti anagogo, waka zizisikuwa basa iri. Reku kurukura na awo wanusanga na nima kambu tipe kutungu kisisa. Na community akasi ya nasiana mkatine ino onika yedine ye Zimbabwe. Taka tatuana na COVID-19. Na clients edu, kana kuti awo wanuya wakida kubatirwa. Waru kubatirwa, kubrikiza nea tinote problem solving therapy kana kuti talk therapy kana kukuru nekisho na tinoti kuburikizan nekukuru pura waka gara pama benji muma klinik saka siya na siya na muno musimbabwe wakita ma sessions awo nana we covid-19 
kugarapa benji e ni wazukuru wa kitwa counseling session kuna neta nekuda kwa social distancing saka wa mwazukuru kana kwa clients wari kubatirwa pa online platform wa mwano fona wa mwendo wa neta ma whatsapp call ma sessions awo e counseling akitika kwangwa ino ye covid-19 mungati imuna zipi zirikunya nyosangana ne vachinji uye zve ye muno kwanisa kunge muchizo wakoka sei kuti vauye kuti ogara pa friendship venture e imuna dzakati yana siyana e ndatenda nemufundzo wenyu e vanhu vachinji vamwe mabasa akapera vamwe vakamiswa mabasa ende vanga vamiswa mabasa ndo vaiunza chikafu ka patafura no kana kuti na basara wako enda zore akuta kuti sina mari chikafu mumba hamusisina kana vanga vari baba na mai vanga vati baba wachisura kubasa mai vari kumba vana vava kugara vari vese kapa mwetete saka makesi zeje enda base violence ati ikwirei nekuda pe covid-19 ee totalista zikare ee besides the gender based violence sine vana vachisina zvekuita vana vachinji ka vaenda kuchikoro but nekuti havasisina zvekuita vana vachinji vakutambisa ma drugs vakunwa doro and also increase nema unwanted pregnancy amo imo munharaunda matiri kugara imo munhu sine zvakare takatarisana nemadzimai madzimai vane mabasa akasiyana siyana avanoita mukati medzimba dzimba ndana mai vakadzi uye vamwe vacho vanenda kumabasa kana kuti vaenda kumabasa e na wi na uro ye covid 19 isati ya uya e mudzimai atarisana nekuchengeta avo vari kurwara ne covid 19 atarisa zvekare kuti vamwe vacho ndo vari kurwara ne covid 19 ari yezvekare akatarisa kuti achinge temuri ya akatarisana naye saka ndiwo mamwe matambudziko ari kusanganikwa nawo mukati menguva ino ye ye covid 19 Uh, maybe just uh, give us in english what your organization is doing during this covid-19 how is it helping people especially women uh, during this covid-19 okay thank you very, thank you very much for for that particular question so the thank you bench is offering online um sessions to to our clients who come or who seek our services um on our online platform so we have the twitter twitter handle the facebook handle and the, Instagram account where our contact is there and um online sessions are being offered we have trained counselors that are providing um calling sessions whatsapp whatsapp calls or chat sessions and um this has gone a long way because initially our intervention was a face to face intervention on the bench in the clinic but because of the covid-19 pandemic people from all over the world can access this online platform and still re- receive their counseling sessions in the com- comfort of their home mm-hmm. um and what yes. would you say are the major problems facing people during this covid-19 that uh, you know they are highlighting okay we have a lot of problems i'll just highlight a few um because some organizations have closed so people have lost um their income uh, and most of them are breadwinners and because of that a lot of issues have come up people are unable to put food on the table they are able to pay rent even are able to pay um school fees for their children and that has become an issue we have spouses who are now staying together for a long time because of lockdown and covid-19 and because people are not used to that a lot of uh, gender based violence cases have also increased um i'll just um uh concentrate on the women where women are naturally multitaskers as mothers wives and also professionals who've been going to work and because of the covid-19 they are now forced to uh play their roles as wives and also juggle uh, their jobs when they're working from home and being mothers helping their children to do online lessons because kids are not going going to school so those are some of the um the issues that are coming up and um we also have a kids having um increase in substance abuse and unwanted pregnancy and interest in in STIs because an idle mind um becomes uh, very dangerous some kids don't have access to online pla- online um 
uh, classes. Mm -hmm. So because of that, they tend to indulge in, uh, in different unwanted um, activities. So those are some of the um, problems uh, that, are, that are coming up. So before I let you go, if you can just uh, tell us, uh, for those that want to get in touch with uh, the Friendship Bench, uh, your organization, and also get counseling during this COVID-19, where can they find you? Okay, so they can visit our website, and our website is www.friendshipbench.org. Uh, we also have a Twitter handle at Friendship Bench, and then our Facebook account is Friendship Bench Zimbabwe, and Instagram account at Friendship Bench. Our contact details are plus 263-784-845-294. Uh, so if they can just text or send a WhatsApp on that number, there's a person on the other uh, other side who will book a session or attend to them uh, if, they, if they have any questions they would want to, to know. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much there. Um, I hope that uh, we can touch base with you in future. Thank you for having spared your time to come on our program. Uh, Ms. Georgina Achapoterera, uh, who is with the Friendship Bench uh, Organization. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, so we're hearing there from uh, the French uh, Bench organization, and uh, she, that's one of the coordinators who was speaking to us about some of the issues that are facing, especially women, uh, during this COVID-19. Over to you. Okay, so um, um, Yes, if we are able to share a lot of things, we will be able to share a lot of things. We will be able to share a lot of things. We will be able to share a lot of things. We Okay. 
Next year, Yes, as can it again, Lulan Shallow is Bajan. I can say it is not a man. He's a pimp, I said it is not a man. Okay, this is not a thing you can have for OTS is not a man. Okay, this is a new linen. Mm hmm. Yeah, in your linen, Yes, yeah. If you can summarize for us in, in English as to what exactly do you want to do, wish to do as the group at Mbilo Central and UPH hospitals in Vulawa? Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, uh, as Vulawa Queens, we want to help UPH and Mbilo hospital uh, by renovating the world, putting new linens, new beds, new kitchens, and new floor, including the bathrooms. So, <clears throat> as the matters of the city, we will see it fit that we help our hospital because these are the most major hospitals that are in Blauai. Okay. Uh, that's all. Yes, All right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mavde. That was uh, Regisela Maplanka giving us uh, what uh, her organization is planning to do in Pilos, uh, UPH, and, um, uh, you know, the central hospitals in Bulawayo. We also heard, uh, remember, uh, before Dr. Arikana Chiomboro was saying that uh, they also have, a, um, they are trying to assist a Harure Nyatwa Hospital is the um, African Diaspora Development Institute before they also branch to other hospitals. Over to you. Mm, I think you can see my face, but it's okay. I'll go ahead and uh, just get um, Dr. Chombori uh, to come and give us her last word. Um, and also, I think the other guests who was here with us uh, to also come and give us their last word in the program. Uh, Dr. Chombori, are you still with us? Hello. Unfortunately, I think we've also lost uh, Dr. Chombori. Yes. Uh, uh, so for now, yes. we actually uh, have. Uh, well, you can give us uh, your last word, Begazela uh, Maplanka, just a, a minute. Uh, you have heard what other women are saying in the program. What can you say about um, the power of women and what they are doing for their communities during this COVID 19? So unfortunately, we can't even do a minute. We only can she do 30 seconds because we've only yes, got okay, like, Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Vegasela uh, Maplanka. Your last word. Thank you so much. I've had two weeks. And then I just want to help each other. This. In our face, I'm going Oh, Mama, there was a Unfortunately, the network is now shaking. Yeah, I think, so. let's just uh, thank all our guests. We'd like to thank our guests, those who came into the program, Dr. Arikana Chihombori Kwao, 
of uh, ADDI, who has an initiative this Saturday, Gracie Chitowa of Pando Health, based in Zimbabwe, Georgina Chapoterera of Friendship Bench, and go over and thank your guests, and then we just wrap up. <laughs> No, Lucine Oluzayo, Michelo Lenugelo, women's round table, Panapa, who live talk. It is a lamming, was it and the Gilm Chang, 